When a man was traveling through an African wildlife preserve, he witnessed a lone elephant stood some way down the road, refusing to move. He eventually grabbed his binoculars to check out the issue a little closer. But what he saw broke his heart. Nigel had always lived in Africa, working at the expansive wildlife preserve that housed countless animals. From rhinos, to elephants, to deer, to lions, they tried their best to protect and conserve these animals as best they could. Nigel loved his job, as he got to come into contact with these animals on a weekly basis. As a trained cardiologist, he would often scan and check the hearts of tranquilized animals, so he really did get to be up close and personal with them. Still, he knew that his job was also a dangerous one. Despite the animals being in a wildlife preserve, they were still, as the name suggests, wild animals. Even when tranquilized and under sedation, Nigel remained vigilant and constantly wary that things could go very wrong very quickly. He had seen his colleagues injured, mauled, lose limbs, or even killed by animals. But despite all of that, Nigel couldn't have imagined a more amazing and rewarding job in the world. So when he was driving down the long dusty road in the wildlife preserve, doing his usual rounds and checking things were okay, he noticed an elephant on the horizon right in front of him. Perhaps it was crossing the road and would be clear of the track by the time Nigel got closer. But as he drove on, he noticed that the elephant didn't seem to be getting out of the way. In fact, it wasn't moving at all. It was just stood there. Nigel knew better than to get near these massive animals. They might be cute and often seem gentle and even loving, but they were also defensive, violent, and incredibly deadly. So he brought his car to a stop quite a distance from the unmoving elephants and just waited. There was nothing else he could do. He could have turned around, but Nigel had a sense of duty to the other animals and needed to complete his rounds. Five minutes passed, and then ten, and then twenty, until eventually an entire hour had passed and still the elephant just stood there, sometimes turning around or flapping its ears in the burning sun. But before long, he started to get a funny feeling, a sense as if something was wrong. Nigel wondered if the elephant had become separated from a herd and got lost. They were sometimes known to wait at frequently passed landmarks in hopes that their herd would once again pass and they could be reunited with them. But something was telling Nigel that this wasn't the case, not here. Rummaging around in the footwell of the passenger side of the vehicle, Nigel pulled out some binoculars. He needed to take a closer look. Perhaps the elephant had something in his foot that was preventing him from walking too far. Or perhaps there was a small bush that the elephant was feeding from that Nigel couldn't see. He brought the binoculars to his face and peered into them, adjusting the focus to make sure that he got a clear image of the elephant. But when the view started to slide from blurry and became crystal clear, Nigel's eyes went wide and he let out a gasp. The poor elephant was covered in painful and nasty-looking sores and cysts. He could see several of them weeping down the poor elephant's body and he held back tears as the elephant suddenly turned to look towards Nigel and his vehicle. It was almost as if the elephants had positioned themselves there because they knew someone would soon drive along and see them. The person could then help the elephants and maybe help take their pain away. Elephants truly were intelligent animals. Nigel shook his head slightly and wiped the tears from his eyes as he grabbed his radio and made contact with the base, letting them know what he saw and where to send help. They told Nigel to remain in his vehicle and not get any closer, but Nigel couldn't resist getting a little close to the poor elephant. It was clearly in pain and distress, and he wanted to make it feel less alone. Nigel started to slowly drive towards the elephant, trying his best not to spook it. He got to within 15 or 20 meters of the beautiful creature and turned off his car. For a long moment, he studied the elephant and its painful and weeping abscesses with his own eyes and felt a lump in his throat as tears once again filled his eyes. The elephant waved his trunk at Nigel as if to signal to him, but he displayed no signs of aggressive behavior. In fact, the elephant sunk to its knees and then laid itself down on the road. It truly was in a bad way. Nigel made a split-second decision. He got out of his car and slowly started to walk towards the gentle giant. It let out a primitive moan, as if asking the approaching man for help. Nigel was still keenly aware that this was a wild and potentially dangerous animal, but he walked to within a few feet of the animal, 
truly seeing how terrible the sores and cysts were, he then did something truly incredible and touching. He sat down several meters from the elephant's head and started to talk to it. Nigel could see the animal was listening, and even though he couldn't understand what Nigel was saying, he clearly felt a connection with him. So Nigel just talked, and talked, and talked about anything and everything. It was clearly providing a comfort to the poor animal. Eventually, he heard some vehicles approaching. It was the other rangers that had shown up to help the poor elephant. Nigel had to reassure them that things were safe and that the elephant wasn't violent, and before long, the vets were studying the creature's body. He needed to be tranquilized while they administered treatment, so a brave vet went to the rear of the elephant and stabbed it with a thick and long needle. The elephant flinched, but didn't cause a fuss. As the tranquilizer started to take effect, the elephant's eyes started to close, but just before he fell completely asleep, his trunk suddenly reached out and slowly wrapped around Nigel's ankle as if to hold his hand and say thank you. Once again, Nigel was brought to tears at the amazingness of elephants and how intelligent and beautiful they were. The vets quickly got to work, treating each and every sore and cyst individually, bursting some, applying creams and ointments, patching them up, and injecting various medicines and painkillers. They had to work fast, as the elephant could wake up at any moment. But all the while, Nigel just sat with the elephant's trunk softly wrapped around his ankle. He stroked it like a mother would with their child's hand. If it provided the elephant with some comfort, it was worth it. But would the elephant be okay when he awoke? No one was sure, but what happened next will leave you speechless. Within minutes of the vets finishing their work, the elephant started to awake. It took around half an hour for it to be fully awake, but it eventually started to get to its feet. Nigel and all the other rangers started to slowly retreat back to their vehicles. The elephant used its trunk to gingerly touch the side of its body where the vets had been working. He didn't seem distressed or in pain anymore. Back in the safety of their vehicles, the vets and Nigel kept their eyes on the elephants, making sure it was okay. If it were a smaller animal, they would have brought it back to the vet's clinic to treat, but elephants are not easy animals to move. The giant creature took several steps towards the vehicles, and everyone suddenly felt tense. Was he about to attack? Would he try to trample and flip the vehicles? Elephants were certainly capable of such things. They all held their breath as they waited to see what happened next. But their mouths dropped open at what they saw. The elephant raised its trunk in the air and reared up onto its hind legs, standing tall for several seconds. He let out a blast from his trunk, and as his front feet landed back on the ground, he waved the trunk at Nigel as if to thank him for his help. The elephant finally slowly turned and started walking from the road into the dusty distance and away. How would you have reacted if you'd seen such an ill elephant that was afflicted with such painful and nasty looking abscesses? Would you have driven on or would you have rushed to its rescue? We love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.